The Singapore Health Ministry has set up a cloud-based factory to train and develop AI tools, such as for predictive preventive care. This is part of new measures laid out in the government's strategy to adopt technology across the healthcare sector. Others include a $200 million fund over five years that supports development and testing of innovations in public healthcare institutions. Outlining his ministry's strategy in adopting technology across the healthcare sector, Health Minister Ong Yi Kang says there is much to gain in harnessing artificial intelligence. Speaking at the Singapore Health and Biomedical Congress, he highlights how generative AI can help reduce routine tasks to free up healthcare professionals to focus more on patient care. Plus, how AI can improve quality of care in imaging and scans. Other than colonoscopy and chest x-rays, we will also evaluate how AI image analysis can be adopted for screening mammography. If proven effective from end 2025, we will start progressive rollout of screening using AI for mammography across the system with the proper workflows and care pathways in place. That's not all. With AI, Singapore can take a bigger step towards delivering predictive preventive care. Mr Ong says it's now possible to have disease prediction models, which can then prescribe precautionary measures, including changes to lifestyles or taking medication. To do that, MOH is consolidating electronic medical record systems across public health care institutions. Two out of Singapore's three health clusters are using the system. The other will join in a few years. By then, I think Singapore will probably be the only country in the world where the entire public health care system uses the same EMR system. This will increase the accessibility and quality of data collected at every step of a patient's journey to better inform doctors' decisions across institutions and settings. At the same time, AI tools will be accessible and, integra and integrated into the a EMR system to be part of the clinical and operational workflow. These data sets with patient identities removed will be on a cloud-based factory called Helix that allows the clusters to create, train and deploy machine learning models for hospital operations and clinical decision making. To help the public health care institutions further, the ministry will top up another $200 million into a health innovation fund to support ground-up development and testing of innovations. The Health Ministry is also working on new laws to govern the use of genetic and genomic test data. This to prevent such information from being used to discriminate people applying for jobs and even insurance. That is why MOH has worked with the Life Insurance Association to put in place a moratorium on genetic testing and insurance, which this allows the use of genetic test results for insurance underwriting. At some point, we need to strengthen this moratorium and give it some permanence. And we will conduct broad consultations. And we hope to submit the bill to Parliament in the next one to two years.